Hey guys, this is Kendall with Black Ovis. I'm here to talk to, talk to you today about our merino wool program and some of the products we're making. We're gonna talk today in this video about our midweight series and the different products we offer, a little bit about sizing. Um, one of the things, we do tops and bottoms of merino wool. All of this merino wool in our midweight series is 100% merino wool. Uh, we source it out of uh, merino wool that comes out of New Zealand and Australia and it's super fine, a very, very soft uh, product. A lot of guys that have tested it, used it, find it uh, comparable to all the major brands on the marketplace. And we really designed this uh, to, to do a couple things. Number one, to, to fit obviously your wallet and, and to be affordable and a, and a good price and a fantastic product. And secondly, it has to perform to the uses that we want to use both in the field as, where, as well as like, like today I'm wearing this, uh, this merino just casually here in the office. So in the uh, starting out in our midweight lineup is the uh, the, the midweight bottom. It uh, is a full bottom length, uh, just a really nice feel. Midweight, of course, as as you would imagine, is per really kind of the all-purpose for either late season, or early season, depending on how hot or cool you run. But uh, I wear this uh, the bottoms underneath my uh, my you know my hunting pants either probably about starting in October. Um, sometimes late September, depending on the hunt. Um, comes in all sizes from small to, to uh, triple X. We really try and uh, to make the fit ideal as far as the rise of the run. Um, and then as far as the taper down here. Um, for you guys that are tall like myself, this, uh, it may not go all the way right to the ankle, but I think one of the things that I see in my own personal use on the bottoms is that uh, you know when I'm wearing a little bit taller sock, I don't necessarily want that, uh, that merino wool bottom down into my shoe or down into my, my hunting boot. So that's the first piece in the midweight lineup. On the top side, what we do offer is a quarter zip and a crew. On the quarter zip, one thing to mention uh, is the quarter zip comes down, it's really about a third of the, the height of, the, uh, of the, um, the front there. The one I'm wearing right now is actually the heavyweight hood and you can see the zip comes down almost a full half zip. So a little difference between if you happen to own the, the heavyweight in the, uh, in the quarter zip and you're looking at the, uh, excuse me, in the hoodie, and you're looking at the quarter zip in the midweight, uh, just know that that zipper length is a little bit different. In the zipper, we use a YKK lockdown zipper. What that means is that lockdown means that you can't, when the zipper's down or the zipper pull is down like that one is here, you can't split that and have that pull down. Some zippers you may know will just automatically come down. This one, once you set it, it's not going to uh, to move on that. So we specifically source the YKK because they do make the best zippers you know, across the market. Um, the, the collar is a little bit generous. It comes up about mid-neck. We don't, it's not too high, which can be a little bit inhib inhibitive, um, you know, if you're using it for hunting. A lot of people we talk to wear the, uh, the quarter zip or the crew that I've got right here um, in uh, just casually or just wearing around or even performance. I talked to a guy that ran a Spartan race wearing, uh, wearing our merino wool because it was uh, particularly cold. So um, as far as care of the merino wool in all our series, but in the, in the midweight, the way that I care for them is I wash them generally in either a gentle or a hand wash cycle in a front loader uh, or in a, in a front loaded um, wash machine. I usually use a, either a, a Nick Wax merino wool uh, soap or a non-detergent, non-dye, uh, something that's more, a little more gentle for merino wool. Uh, you can wash it just on a normal cycle too. I've, had, I've washed on normal cycle. Make sure you're washing with just cold water and either a low or kind of a middle spin. And then I line dry my, uh, my merino. If you do plan on, on drying them in the dryer, I would typically tell you to size up a half a size, or excuse me, a full size. So if you're typically a large, or if you're typically an extra large, you need to size up a full size if you plan on just chucking that in the dryer, because it will shrink. Um, and then I, you know, once it comes out of the dryer, as far, excuse me, out of the wash machine, on the, uh, the line dry, it's, man, it's usually dry within about maybe an hour tops. And that's one of the advantages of using a merino wool base layer, like the midweight layers here on your hunts, is that you're going to, you know, you're gonna sweat, there's nothing about it if you're hiking as such, but the merino wool will actually pull that moisture away from the body and absorb that, and it does dry fairly well. Uh, not quite as fast as like a synthetic, just so you know. And you can, you know, some guys you know, sweat profusely, or if they get really, really wet, 
you know, big surprise there, you are going to smell a little bit like a sheep. I mean, it does have a little bit of a smell to it. But talking about smell, uh, one of the performing aspects of Merino, which you may have noticed or may have not noticed if you've used it, if you haven't used it, is that you can wear these pieces day in, day out through an entire hunt and they won't retain and grow order. The, the, the properties of Merino uh, don't allow for bacteria to really take root and expand like, like a synthetic material can. So definitely some benefits, ounce per ounce, maybe a little bit heavier than a synthetic base, uh, base layer, but performing factors, I can wear on my, my, my uh, elk hunt this year, I wore the, uh, the, the base layer t-shirt from the lightweight series every single day through a seven day hunt. Uh, and it didn't smell really at all. Uh, and I didn't really find it uh, any like offensive to put it on. It didn't, wasn't bad, it was actually fantastic. So this is our midweight series. The other two items we do make in the midweight series are our beanie and, uh, and our merino gloves. And that comes in the midweight, midweight fabric. So one of the questions that we get uh, a lot are, is what size should I go and how do these run? We really try to size these base layers so that they fit comfortable, yet not too, too tight. Just as a, as a kind of an example, today I'm wearing the, uh, the heavyweight uh, hoodie and this is uh, zipped all the way up. You can see the collar is just a little bit higher. I'm six foot four, 200 pounds. I wear uh, extra large t-shirts in almost all my t-shirts unless I plan on line drying my t-shirts and I'll wear a large. But most of the tops I wear jackets, I wear extra large in Sitka and Cryptek um, and Browning, I wear an extra large as well. So I'm again, I'm six foot four, 200 pounds. This has been washed oh, a handful of times. And I, like, I, like I mentioned as well, I like to line dry my, uh, my Merino. So you can see there's plenty of room in the chest. You know, it's a comfortable fit. I'm wearing this casually today. It's a cool day, it rained outside. Uh, and roomy here in the, in the armpits. My chest is a 44, uh, just to give you guys reference. And neck is a 16 and a half. So it's a, it's a really comfortable fit in, uh, in the extra large. Lengthwise, even though I'm tall, you can see the sleeve length comes, uh, comes down, you know, just onto my, just a little bit generous in the sleeve length. And we try to do that specifically. There's nothing worse than having sleeves like this. For you guys that might be a little shorter, have a little bit shorter arm reach, you obviously can roll if you, if, if you feel so inclined or in those colder weather, you're gonna have that sizing is gonna allow for you know, that to come down onto your, uh, onto a little bit of your, your hand and palm. So this is what the extra large looks like. This is a, this is what the large looks like. And I do wear this large. Uh, this is again, is the half zip, uh, Merino hoodie. There's it zipped all the way up. You can see kind of what that looks like from the side. Again, six foot four, 200 pounds. I wear extra large in just about everything in some base layers, uh, like Sitka, for example, or other brands, I may size down on the, on the upper to a large if I want a snug fit. But a lot of them I still go extra large just so I have a comfortable fit without being like Under Armour skin tight. But this is, this is pretty snug. I've worn this, I, I typically will wear this a little bit more in hunting if I know this is going to be my outer and I'm wearing maybe a t-shirt underneath and I'll zip this down so you can kind of see. In the arm, there's almost no, almost no room here in the in here. It's just a good snug. I don't feel inhibited when I'm crossing like that. Sleeve length, so just a hair shorter than the, uh, than the extra large was. You can see on my wrist, um, it comes right to the edge of the wrist. So this, this is comfortable, but I wouldn't wear it A, casually, or B, if I had a couple layers underneath. Uh, today, I'm just wearing just a t-shirt underneath this. And, uh, and as far as overall length, it goes down to just about the top of my pockets here on the jeans I'm wearing. So this is the large on a six foot four, 200 frame. Hopefully that gives you some reference. But I, what I would tell most guys is that for sizing purposes of our Merino on the uppers, you should go with what your t-shirt size is and expect to have a comfortable fit without super tight. If you do want a performance fit and you're kind of on that cusp, consider sizing down to like what I've done here on this large. And this is one that I've worn in Alaska and Idaho and Wyoming and here in Utah on their various hunts and, uh, and comfortably you know, worn one layer underneath. And I, and I know that I won't, won't wear two. If I know I'm gonna be two layers, I'll jump back to my extra large uh, hoodie in this instance and, uh, and then I can layer up on that. Again, our midweight series is great for either all purpose 
or you know the tail end of, of uh, uh, you know the start of the, the cold weather season, or even some guys that, that don't necessarily run hot can use this throughout the entire fall or you know the, the summer late summer excuse me and into the fall. So check it out on Black Ovis. You can look at the midweight series and, uh, and see our collection of pieces.